to play the 4-3-3 system and uh, looking to, I guess, to be a little bit more expansive, Coach Doki. And um, let's see if that works out for him today. It's going to be interesting to see how he d he organized them defensively with this system. Yeah, and as uh, Coach Duke mentioned, very, very difficult for them to be without their central defender and captain, Ricardo Campbell, who has been a tower of strength for them. The Tivoli Gardens lineup stronger than the one that we saw draw 1-1 with Malines last week with the return of goalkeeper Kiwong Atkins. Captain Barrington Price and Kimar Fleming's in defense. Yeah, they, they did look a bit uh, leg um, legged the last game out, Tivoli, but they're back with their, their system of a, it's a 4-1-2-1 system. And for me, Tivoli is a very dangerous team and uh, very good going forward. Yeah, so that's a two. And uh, this one, the highlights reel, will not have that much. But this was a moment where Tivoli could have won it. The ball headed down by Barrington Price for Devroy Gray, their leading scorer with four goals. That should have been five, but he didn't get it. Harrison striking a goal there from 20 yards out. In one of the moments when Veer had a look at goal. Tivoli, Bowers here, drives a left-footed strike that's tipped over the crossbar by Kadeem Davis, who was his usual solid and efficient self in goal for the Veer team. Look at this run by Andre Gale. 40 meters he dribbled the ball, then comes across here to Plummer. Plummer, faced here by Flemings, gets rid of Flemings, crashes the ball right across the box. No one gets to it. And Dasha Satchwell tries to get the ball away, but it's still in the danger zone. Miss him with a left-footed strike that crashes into the goal, in, into the defender. In the meantime, Campbell is down hurt in the six-yard box there. Harrison tries to strike on goal, but the foot save coming from Watkins in the Tivoli goal. But this was a curious moment in the match here because Shabar Campbell was down hurt in the six-yard box. And uh, there wasn't any attention paid to him there. And the play continued around him and almost resulted in a fair goal. There's Shamar Campbell. Can't move, he's in pain. And the play was continuing. Harrison sets the ball back here. And a glorious opportunity here for Ramon Plummer. But he goes high with the effort. The build up by Ricardo Dennis. Just sliding the ball across to Plummer. Plummer knows that he should have done better there. From that point, you have to make the goalkeeper save. You can't go wide of the post or above it. Harrison on the near post going for the spectacular effort. And here's a fine Kadeem save, Davis save. Siobhan Reed substitute in the second half. Driving this one around the wall. Really well taken free kick. And that's a fabulous save from Kadeem Davis. He would have been unsighted by the wall. That ball would have just emerged from behind the wall. And he did really well there. That's a top save. Certainly would have been a candidate for the man of the match honor goalkeeper Kadeem Davis, having had a solid game. But uh, Tivoli Gardens held to a nil all draw here. Seven shots on goal for Veer, only one on target. Tivoli had five attempts on goal, two on target. 36 fouls in the match, 20 of them by Tivoli Gardens players. There was a yellow card in the game as well for a Tivoli player. Nine corners forced by Tivoli, just one for Fair United, whose goalkeeper pulled off two saves. Tivoli's goalkeeper Watkins only one. Tivoli had more time on the ball, 54% ball possession for Tivoli Gardens. But um, Fair United held them off in a nil score scoreline. And the man mainly responsible for Fair protecting their defensive line was Alton Lewis. He's with Dwight Jeremiah. Oh. From the very first day of the season when you came in as a substitute, you've been ever-present since that time. Um, was this one of your most difficult game as a defender? Yeah, it was the most dis difficult game. Because first game, I tackled so, so much. Just a tackle, 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 tackle. But we just keep my head and stay focused and just do the right thing, as I coach said. Well, it was a very good display from your team. You kept the clean sheet. You're still in this tie. Good luck. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, all the best. Uh, Lewis, they are putting in a real good defensive shift today. And the man responsible for that happening just walks into my shot. Coach Doki, 
How pleased are you with that performance? Very pleased. I was really excited with the intensity of the game. Um, I was very surprised. Uh, never knew that we had that in us. Um, we have to say a lot of credit to Tivoli. They have a lot of history behind them. And, you know, Teddy is still there. Flemings is still there. So they would have imparted that to the youths. But we did well to play with them. They started aggressive very fast. We took a little time to come in the game, but we catch up with them. It was even Stevens until in the latter stage of the, the second half. I thought we had a good chance to go ahead. It didn't happen for us, but um, in the end, I thought 0-0 zero, zero was a fair result. You seem to pick your moments to go at them early in the first half, early in the second half. How disappointed are you that you didn't get the goal there? Well, I'm um, not too disappointed. Um, most of these players are not playing at this level. I've not played at this level before. Um, it's a do-or-die situation. We have the other half of the game to go. Um, we're mindful of what they have to offer. We were able to match them up. Um, I think it will be an intriguing finish in the second leg, and we're definitely looking forward to it. Well, you have one half of the puzzle done. You have to figure out how to score the goal against them. Uh, so how do you do that? Well, everything is a mindset. The stage is huge. Um, we'll eventually get there with a little bit more composure. It will definitely happen for us. If it doesn't, well, hopefully we'll do good at even if it goes to penalty. All right then, Coach. Well, let's see what happens the next time around. You Thank have you a very lot. much. Okay, great. Coach Dukey, they are very pleased with what took place. Um, and now I have Coach Williams with me. Half of your job done because you came into this game conceding four goals over two games. You got the clean sheet. What's happening at the attacking end for you today? Um, first of all, I would say it was very, a very exciting game today. Um, the team really represent themselves well. As I said, um, we, we were able to keep a clean sheet today, which was one of the areas that we are having problem with all season. But I mean, I can't fault the guys. I think we didn't create enough chances in, 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 the, in, in the final third. And um, so this is, decision could have been much better. But I mean, it was a good game today for us. What do you think about the chance that Gray got early in the game? Went on his right side, didn't hit the target any at all. Weaker, weaker foot, as they say. But do you think he should have hit the target there? Definitely at this level, um, it doesn't matter which, which, which one of the foot um, it, it's on. You should, you should at, at least get it on target. But I mean, he's our leading goal scorer and we know he's, he keep on trying. So we're not going to fault him too much. One of your, he's a leading goal scorer. Another uh, goal scorer in your team, Orisha Morgan, was not in today. Is he coming back for the next game and why was he out today? Um, when he wants to play for, 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 for the coach and the coaching staff, definitely he'll be back in. Until that, that time, we just make do with what we have. Okay, well, you have a work to do to break down this team. All the best. Yeah, man, thanks. Much. Okay. Yeah, so that's Philip Williams, coach of the Tivoli Gardens team. Before that, you heard Donovan Duckey. So the first leg quarterfinals in the playoffs completed. Mount Pleasant 3-1 over Harborview. And a Tivoli Gardens nil all with the Vera United. First time since June the 26th in their opening game that Tivoli have been held scoreless in a game. They stretch their own beaten run now to eight games in the Premier League. The JPL playoffs continuing on Wednesday with the return matches, the second leg matches of these fixtures. 12.45, 1.45 Eastern Caribbean time, Tivoli Gardens against Veer United. That will be the first game of the doubleheader. And then in the second fixture, Mount Pleasant against Harborview. So Mount Pleasant taking a 3-1 lead in against Harborview. And uh, Veer are nilo with Tivoli heading into the second leg uh, quarterfinals in the Jamaica Premier League powered by Digicel. Those second leg quarterfinal playoffs coming up on Wednesday.